Alright, welcome back to Rogue Tech, and welcome back to Challenge Run Mark III. So, the timer was an issue in Episode 1. I have recognized that, I have acknowledged that, and I removed what I think was the part that actually made it annoying, rather than, you know, uh, immersive and interesting. So, there's no longer the buzz at the end. Um, and I've adjusted the volume so that it's slightly louder than the cooling fans. So that's, that is at present the volume I'm going to be going with. And it also, uh, by editing the sound file that I was uh, working with to remove that buzz at the end, it also made it so that it doesn't do that anymore if I restart it or pause it before the timer ends. So there should be a lot less just noise going on. But it is still loud enough that I can actually hear it and use it to, to keep my to keep my actions flowing very quickly. Um, I have also decided that I'm going to give myself the reposition round to actually look at everything on the battlefield and formulate a plan and then just adjust that plan on the fly. So that's that's the two big changes. Now then, um, our hatchet man's down for two days. We've got people in fatigue for two to three days. So obviously we're not dropping on the co attack contract right now. But when it pops up, you'll see that it says um, the mission is commander cease and desist. Details will be provided en route, but it seems to be a destroy base mission. So if we see a mission type that I'm like, okay, yeah, we can probably do that even if it's three skulls, we'll do some. Um, but we might end up just passing all the missions on this flare-up, and that's fine. It's just an option to uh, take advantage of as we go. We have four days left on the lounge, and the next flare-up is in three days, which is a day after our commander comes out of fatigue. So, I'm actually kind of tempted to just drop on a mission. Because we do have enough people that we could actually drop somebody else. Oh, wait. Do we want to trust the hatchet man to somebody who might panic eject? I don't think we do. I think, I think the commander is the only one allowed in the hatchet man. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's how we do it. As far as uh... yeah, 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 yeah. All right. If the fatigue lines up on one of these attack contracts, we'll do it. But uh, at least for this one, we're just gonna do a regular mission. <laughs> so, um, if memory serves, we're at a one half skull or one half star lance rating if we don't drop everything and one skull if we do drop everything so i think i mean it's an escort we could drop everything and go on this two skull escort yeah let's do that Let's absolutely do that. And once again, we're just going full salvage at the start of the playthrough because our mech bay has literally nothing in it. So, this is basically the play. And then we can actually drop our last Fenrir as well. Um, we did see, I think the Fenrir's got full... Did they get full evasion when they were sprinting on their own? Hold on a second. So, their max evasion is 10. I did not see anybody getting 10 evasion. So, we can absolutely put somebody who is reckless in one of these things. But at the same time, three guts. Oof. Well, she's athletic, which is both faster fatigue recovery and more health. And she's military, which is also more health. So, even if she takes an injury, she's less likely to punch out than somebody who only has 3 max health. That said, I might be better off going for somebody who has uh, dependable or... Do I have anyone who's dependable or... Uh, um... 
actually can battle armor panic eject? I don't think they can. Because there is no cockpit. It's just battle armor. So yeah, I think I'm fine dropping Helga and getting her some experience. Um, but yeah, she's military, reckless, gladiator, lucky. And then athletic mech warrior on top. So like, she's got a lot going for her. I would love to start getting her some experience. But yeah. There we go. Yep. I know, Darius. Alright, and here goes nothing in our first mission with the, well, second mission of the challenge run. But the first mission where we're actually going to have time to look around before we do. And, yeah, looks like we have a blocking force. Cool. Awesome. Alright, so fog is going to mess with visuals, but sensors should be fine, so... Expect accuracy penalties is what I understand there. So I saw that the blocking force is at exactly where this is indicating it is. Um, so it looks like we can drop on the high ground here and then run through some cover. But that doesn't look like road. Is that road? No, that's not road. The road does go through here, though. Um... So we can drop on the road, use the road to push the... Yeah, I think that's the better... I think that's the better option. Okay. So, our hatchet man we want as far forward as possible. Then our... Ooh. Which of the vehicles do we have first? I was playing your first playthrough for the last recording session, so... I think the first two vehicles are the ones that can, like, that take the uh, battle armor to the front. And I think... Is it the Badger that has the LRMs? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> At least we have the repositioned round to look around, get everything sorted, get our battle armor into the appropriate APCs. Uh, that's <laughs> Black Jacket YJ69. Yasha Cutlass. Okay. So here's the problem with VTOLs <laughs> we can't uh, hatchet them. We cannot do anything with our... Well, I guess we do have the, like, Rack 2, but... Yeah. Um... Alright! <laughs> What's up, boss? Cool. So, real quick. Uh... This badger... Is the one that has... Does it actually show? Is Yes, Omni Vehicle Battle Armor Compartment 1. Okay. So this one... Okay, so I was wrong. The Badger that I dropped in the back is one of the ones I actually want to put my uh, Battle Armor into. Do I have to put the Foshi on last for it to cling on the side and not take up a infantry compartment. Also, that's interesting. The battle armor compartment's in the rear, but the pilot's in the front. Crew compartment in the front, battle... So if I get if I get destroyed front or rear, I'm going to uh, probably lose either the pilot or the battle armor that's in it. Noted. So this Maxim is the one that has the one battle armor compartment... Wait... Not three battle armor compartment. Okay. So the Maxim INF is the one we want to load into first. And then if. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, Commander. So the Fashi is going to mount up into the INF. And then done. Um. Nope, we don't get anywhere until yet. Okay. And this is the bandit. Yeah, that has the LRMs. Okay. So, hacker is the one we're going to keep to the rear. If I can remember to do that. 
How can I help? Um, yeah, uh, Punisher, get in the Maxim. Cool. What's up, boss? Did I just hear a drop pod? I did just hear a drop pod. What? Oh, also we now see an Alsvin. Okay. Um, alright. So, mount up. Theoretically, this APC should be able to hold all four battle armor. Should. So if it can't fit the last one, then that means we have to make sure we go with, uh, yeah, here we go. Here's the last Fenrir. Mount up. Okay. So in order for us to have the Fashi hanging onto the outside of the vehicle, we have to put the Fenrirs in first. Because apparently if there is a infantry compartment open, the Fashi will go into the infantry compartment if it's not already full. But that's fine. We'll just, uh, we'll put Torvisla's Fenrir into the Badger Prime. All right. Ooh, actually, we should also, before I forget, because I remember some of the battle armor starts, yeah, with weapons disabled. We want to make sure every weapon is enabled. Make sure every weapon is enabled. That will save us time, potentially. Okay. Commander. Now then. Um, I have no idea what initiative order our hatchet man's going to be in. But I'd also want to push past the VTOLs towards at least the tank we can hatch it. So rather than activating the combat shield for this Acknowledge. reposition round, I'm going to go ahead and sprint in to cover more distance. And we do see that the Black Jacket has a bunch of missiles. The Yasha has a single energy weapon. And we have no information on the Elspin. Cool. <laughs> All right. I'm really curious what was in the drop pod now. Yes, Commander. All right, Badger Prime. It's a vehicle, so we kind of want to keep to the road. You know what? It's fine. Double time. Let's go. It's fine. I know I'm lining up for stray shots, but it's fine. And then Dark Chaos in the INF APC. This one, I think we will swing a little to the side since it's carrying so much of our battle armor. And it's also stealth, so... Wait, it shouldn't be stealth. Oh, it's just showing the stealth bubble because of the... Yeah, it's just showing the stealth bu bubble because of the battle armor in it being stealth. Yeah. Yeah, that must be it. <laughs> Still getting used to it. Still getting used Let's to it. Alright, then we have our LRM vehicle, which we're actually, I think... I think we're gonna kind of swing up this way. We'll still be able to come down the road, but that way, yeah. It, mostly just to keep it separate. Alright, so. We now see a mech. Ow. Ow. Plasma cannon. That's a great start. Light damage. <laughs> Holding firm. Also, initiative six, initiative nine, what? And here we go. Uh, okay. Reserving there. Ouch. I should I should just wait for the timer to end and and think until the timer ends. That's probably a good call. Especially since I think I might have actually accidentally Yeah, why is Dark Chaos initiative 1? I'm so confused. Anyway, um uh, I mean actually those are that's a heck of a hit chance, so Roger that. Cool. You. Badger Prime. Um, oh, I need to restart when the Badger Prime starts. Okay. Uh, honestly, 
let's get into the rear. I need to go faster. Yeah, I need to go faster. Okay. All right, so be it. Good to go. Warbor. Haha. <laughs> Fashi. Also going to shoot. Hopefully, get work done here. Single hit. All right. Now then. Yes, commander. Restart that. Uh, Fenrir. What can we shoot here? We can shoot the Cutlass from the rear. Cutlass has a lot more armor than I was expecting. All right. Not a kill. Helga. Okay, so apparently if the message pops up. Whatever. Just die. <laughs> All right. Mech destroyed. There will there will be growing pains as we get this sorted, but it's fine. So now I am going to activate the combat shield, and I'm going to move, which is dropping the stability damage as well, and then spin up the rack. Good angle. Fire. Nice. All right. Bandit, with all the damage it's already taken. On my way. And going through fire, so more damage. Uh, we're gonna shoot the Centurion. Cool. Now. All right, Dark Chaos in the Maxim. We're also going to get, actually, you know what? I'm actually gonna move for highest hit chance possible. On it. Come on, almost there. Fire. In all Got it. Systems. Just in time. Yeah, um, <laughs> completely different feel from playing your first playthrough, so... Man, I, I think I'm gonna need to... I think I'm gonna need to record bigger Reporting. batches of Here these. But that's fine. That's fine. So that that is a Plasma Centurion, which I believe means it's the Pirate variant. Alright, Warbore. See if we can finish off the Cutlass, maybe? One hit on the propeller, or on the turret. That's why it, uh... Yeah, that, that's why it was only whatever damage. Uh, seven damage, I think it was. Alright, we have Punisher, Fenrir, also shooting on the back of the Cutlass. How's it going? Torvisla... Also shooting on the back of the Cutlass. Roger. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. So, as you can tell, I've got it so that I can actually disable the, uh, the timer if I'm done ahead of time. Although I'm just resetting it if, whenever I do that. So, yes, folks. Zed, uh, Badger Prime, you know what? Let's get cover and... Just running. Shoot the Centurion. Roger that. I'll take it. All right. And turn ten is the vehicle barrage incoming. Did it hit the Hatchet Man? Are we gonna lose the Hatchet Man on our first real mission? I'm here. All right, Valkyrie. Not able to get close enough to actually. Oh, and our Rack Two's jammed. You know what? That's fine. Move. Location confirmed. And brace. Alright, Rack 2 unjammed. Beautiful. Orders? Now then, we have our fin rear. We are going to absolutely shoot the scent and hope on we get some work done. Alright. Yes, and Dark Chaos here is going to um, get line of sight, hopefully. No? Yes? Way back here? You know what? Fine. Firing a full salvo. Fine. All right. You. Dark chaos. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be a little nutty. But I think I think we're okay. Roger. Except for if we just miss everything all the time and bring a barrage on top of our own vehicle. Structure exposed. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, our hatchet man uh, already has an arm open. Alright. And we've got the Fashi. I mean, UAV. 
Seven percent. Okay. Negative damage. All right. So. Oh, I, I have no idea what the UAV is, but apparently that's a thing. Also, that was 78 damage pinpoint because plasma cannon versus vehicle. Oh dear. Talk to me. Um. I mean, yeah. Triggering an UAV strike. is definitely uh, worth uh, taking off the field. All right, now we've got the fin rear here. Fire on the Centurion. Very simple decision making so far. Shoot the thing. Okay, now shoot the other thing. Um, I mean here, actually, I think I'm gonna reserve. So. Ow. Our hatchet man is not looking great. Okay, so, LRM time. We cannot get direct line of sight if we move. Okay. Copy that. Then I guess we're firing in directly. Fiery. Beautiful. Whoa. <laughs> Four damage. Alright. Reading you. Now then, we can actually melee here. Which I think we are not able. Oh wow, we are not able to actually use the weapon. Okay, actually we're gonna reserve then. Alright. Ready for orders. Dark Chaos. Aye, aye. Time to get in there. And shoot the Centurion from the side where he's already kind of open. Firing all At least we got the tag. Alright. And this... Yeah, we're just going to shoot the vehicle. Alright. Zed in the Badger Prime also going to be going, I think... To the side of the Centurion. I know I'm getting very little evasion here. It's worth the Order. shot. Alright. And now... I, I hate to do it, but we kind of gotta. Oh, hey, I can punch and shoot the rotary autocannon. Alright. So, we still get... Braced and... Uh, I just realized our right arm is open. Our right arm's where our big beefy hatchet is. Waiting for orders. Oh dear. Uh Yeah, no, I can't. I can't shoot through the other vehicle. Alright, reserving. Okay, what is the centurion gonna do? Shooting at a vehicle. And missing with his giant hundred damage pinpoint attack. Cool. All go. right, Tor Vizsla is absolutely going to just shoot Fire the Centurion. That is the name of the game right now, is kill the Centurion. Uh, okay, Warbor cannot actually get line of sight to the Sin. And we're going to reserve again. How can I help? Okay, Fenrir also cannot get a shot on the Sin. So, reserving again. I'm here. Melee attack. On the scent. Physical weapon. Let's go. Order. This is what we were made for. Okay. Structure exposed. Daka Daka. Okay. Uh, Commander? Alright. Fenrir. Um, now that our... <laughs> Firing. Now that our mech has moved, I'm fine shooting the Allsven in the back. Now that we're not going to risk stray shotting our uh, our mech, <laughs> our Hatchet Man is kind of our baby. I just realized this is just the blocking force. Receiving you. Oh dear! <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Um, can't really get an angle there, so I guess. Minimum distance, minimum distance, I... Ready to get it on. Okay. Take his turn, and Stand that gives on. me another bit of time to figure out what to do here, and I think... I think taking down the mech is the higher priority. Especially since he's unsteady already. Beautiful. Whew, okay. Hostile. 
Commander. That is valuable. Commander. All right, Zed. Um. Yeah, sure. Do that. Very shot him in the rear bunch. Firing all weapons. Side is almost open. Good to go. All right. I've got your back. Uh. Yeah, no line of sight there, so Punisher's gonna have to either dismount or brace. Holding to vent heat. And so now we come in here with our LRMs and maybe finish him? <laughs> Roger. Maybe? No, not at all. That's fine, that's fine. All right. What's up, boss? So we have battle armor with ER mediums. Is that a kill? No, not quite. Reading you. All right. Uh, it didn't register restarting. I'm actually gonna spin down the rack to times three, so it's less likely to jam. Location okay. Confirmed. So ha! we have taken out the blocking time. force. Mech, mech warriors, show up but you as the rules state, Target we do not withdraw down. ever. What is our current status? Our current status is plenty of armor left on the bandit. We have the left side low on our maxim, so we're gonna have to be careful with that. Our badger is low on the right side. I just need to remember I need to keep the right side away from the enemies with that vehicle. And the left side of the APC, the maxim, away from the enemies. Activate the combat shield. We're gonna move and brace into the capture point with our right arm away from where the enemy should drop. But yeah, we have gotten heavily shredded with our uh, with our hatchet man. Okay, LZ marked and entering combat. Um, I see absolutely nothing. Okay. I did not mean to brace. I meant to reserve. Yeah, oh, boy. Ahaha. Ahaha. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. We actually see Bellerophone, Shadowhawk 1R, not worried about that, and a Blackjack 0. Okay. So, we are going to, with our Hatchet Man, move and brace, I think. Again, just keeping, keeping our damage side away from the enemies. All right, so Bellerophone One X. We've got the crossbow up there. I'm super okay, no. worried about. Um, that's a fin rear. That can't do anything yet. I'm holding action. All right, here comes the Shadowhawk. Waiting for orders. Torvisla also can't do anything yet. Holding for the right opportunity. Um, Hacker, Commander. yes. We can do something with Hacker. Get up here. High ground. No. High ground is beautiful. And I think we're going to focus the Bellerophone. Okay. Firing all I'm taking that one just because that... I, I don't think I restarted the timer. Orders? Either that or that came a lot faster than I was expecting. Alright, Corporal. I don't have time to mess with uh, the moving and shooting as far as the escort's uh, radius of being within space of each other. All right, Fenrir, again, we can't really do anything until we get closer with the vehicle carrying it. I've got it. your back. Same thing here. Okay, and Receiving activating you. Dark Chaos, beautiful. Oh, we can actually get 10 up here? Heck yeah. Ooh, that might be too far away for the battle armor to do its thing. All weapons, go. Oh, we'll deal with that when the time comes. All right, now we have another APC here, beautiful. Firing on the Bellerophone just, oh, never mind. Uh, all right. Engaging target. That's fine. Okay, Corporal. Can we... No, distance from convoy. Full 
Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to be very careful to not get bogged down by the distance from convoy issue. Good to go. All right, Zed in the Badger Prime. We're gonna go over here and try to pick a fight with the Blackjack. Beautiful. Hiring full complement on enemy. All right, Corporal, what can you do? Nothing. Amazing. <laughs> What a vehicle. A B pod and our A pod and M pod and machine guns. Talk to me. Alright, can we fire? Yes we can. Beautiful. Copy that. He's already open. As I was about to say. He's already open. So machine guns. Alright. And here I think we're gonna focus the Shadow Hawk. Engaging. I'm not really worried about it, but it is closer, so better at hit chance. And then turn eight, the crossbow. I'm very worried about the crossbow, to be clear. <laughs> this is this is a very scary target. All right, so here we go. Blackjack, fire, lovely. Okay. Here we go, Vashi. Again, I'm just I'm gonna try to focus down the ones I think I can. How can I help? And, yeah, once again, just trying to focus down the enemies that I can. Pilot bleeding out. Love it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... I am going to move Embrace again. Our commander is going to cautiously approach and then hopefully get a chance to smack the heck out of the crossbow at some point without risking... Too much damage. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ready for order. All right, so we have 15 seconds here. I know I'm going to shoot the Shadow Hawk, but the crossbow has three energy, two missile. Blackjack has two ballistic, but the Shadow Hawk's already open. And if we can get a kill, that's an enemy off the board. We did not. I think I hit something. But he is stressed, so that's nice. Yeah, the crossbow is going to be problematic. Those are also some pretty big... Actually, wait, it's the Blackjack Zero. I think those are just... Um... Oh, this this is the vehicle that we have up. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> it's not a vehicle I really uh, can count on to do much, so it's fine. Waiting for order. All right, here we go. Bandits. Can we actually... We can. Ah, uh, this is the LRM bandit. Um, you know what? Reserving. All right, Alsvin, APC. So we're gonna we're gonna just shoot what we can shoot. See what we can get done. Turn twelve. Panicked. All right, can we... We can. Got it. It's gonna be risky, but we can potentially Taking kill it before top. it acts. No, but another injury. So he has to be freaking out right now. Bleeding out, injured. Do I want a Shadowhawk actually? <laughs> I can't get one by picking it, but I can potentially get one by just, uh... Fire. Confirmed. Okay. Shutting down had not finished. I'm good. Golden. Love it. Uh oh. Come on. Oh, jeez. Convoys. Hate it. Okay. Got it in time. Yeah, the convoy's limitations on their movements are uh, great. <laughs> Lovely, amazing, wonderful. And I don't really have time to check and see if there's other ammo to choose from on the uh, the convoy units. I think I'm going to actually 
try to get line of sight like that. Understood. And see if I can finish off this Shadow Hawk. Alright. Some work done. Not enough though. Inflicted some heavy damage. Alright. I've got your back. Punisher in the fin rear. We are absolutely shooting him with the machine guns. Did not get the kill. Unfortunate. That was a critical hit, lad. Yes. Alright. Our commander is lagging behind a little bit. So I think we're just gonna take Warbor's turn. I'm here. Okay. And we're actually gonna reserve this. Roger that. Standing by. Fin rear. Can only shoot the crossbow. Helga, on the other hand, can shoot the Shadowhawk. That's a question. How do I want to handle... How do I want to handle if I'm swapping between people? Probably the same. Probably the same. Alright. Valkyrie. I'm going to reserve again. I'm, I want the uh, Blackjack to go first. I want the Blackjack to go before I move in and maybe start shooting with my... Rotary Auto Cannon. Crossbow is falling back and doing nothing. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm definitely going to take this opportunity to swing over, get this damage sight away from the enemies again, and continue trying to focus down the Blackjack. Half a Blackjack down. Reporting. Critical hit. Alright. Torvisla. Uh, might as well. Continue shooting the blackjack from the damage side. Alright, and this is the completely useless... Hey, you know what? At least we can figure out what the dis... Okay, that is the limitation. <laughs> so we know that is where vehicles can go to that we're escorting. Now then. Blackjack. Missing. Lovely. All right, here we go. The enemies have all gone. We're going to deactivate the combat shield. We're going to sprint to right there. All right, let's move. And open up with everything. Come on, people. Beautiful. Let's... Structure is exposed. It doesn't really matter. Oh, right. We are stuck going there. I mean, honestly, the crossbow's already open. Yeah. That is the better target. Receiving you. All right, Maxim. We are definitely going to come in here and shoot the crossbow from the same side again. Come on. Does Enter work? Confirmed. Yes, Enter does work. So I can be ready to click and press Enter. Speed things up just a hair. All right, Prowler. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Our our escort targets are really helping us win the day here. Commander. All right, Bandit Hovercraft, swinging way wide, like so. Roger. Full speed. We do still have one lance of enemies that's going to be coming in. Targeting for cool. an alpha strike. So yeah, click and enter is very quick. So nice. A critical hit. I'm I'm starting to catch up. <laughs> catch up to the curve or whatever. Uh yeah, LRMs. Lovely. Amazing. Half a crossbow down. Enemy it is a primitive crossbow. Noted. Roger. I'll break him in two. Cool. Punch right through his armor. Got something you want done? Um, honestly, sure. Legged, lovely. Ah, <sighs> never had a doubt. I knew we were gonna be able to pull this off. No problem. Good to go. And then obviously we're out of SRMs, but we can still machine gun. Let's hit him hard. This might be a good time to actually. Like, get out of 
Yeah, I think I'm actually going to dismount. And then... Move. Shoot. Alright. He is unsteady, so he can't sprint. That's nice. Uh, Maxim APC is going to swing over here. Shoot. On it. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. So Blackjack is also on the ground now. Love it. Okay, Goblin. Might as well hit the crossbow. Center torso. Lovely. Alright. So, this now. I think we definitely still try to just finish. There we go. One mech finished. One half of a mech basically remaining. Uh, yeah, I'll take the obstructed shot. I have plenty of ammo, actually. Like, plenty. So, definitely a kill. Alright, so now that there's no enemies on the board, we can take stock of the situation. So, things have calmed down a bit. We can now look and see that our burrow has a bunch of extra armor. It's 589 out of 395, so it has some kind of increased armor, um, like hardened or something. But yeah, it all, all it has is an A-pod and an M-pod and machine gun. That's less than helpful. It can soak damage, though, so that's nice. Then we have uh, our Badger, which we definitely also want to keep swinging around. Do we do we actually want to pick the Fenrir back up? I mean, yeah, I think we do. I think I think we're gonna we're gonna do exactly that. Copy that. Just get in position for the Finner to hop back on board. We have an Allsvin, which has the arrow tag, which is going to be back up in one turn. And then two Bright Blooms and two Heavy Machine Guns. That's super interesting, actually. Very helpful. Love it. Absolutely love it. Up until the tag misses and we Good hit our own go. people. <laughs> okay, Bandit. We only have 15 shots left. Oh, wow. So our bandit has very limited armor. I mean, uh, not armor, ammo. That's... Yeah. <laughs> not, uh... Not the most useful hover tank, but... It can scoot around and soak damage, if nothing else. Or soak shots, if nothing else. Reading you. Yeah, Valkyrie has definitely taken a beating. This is going to take so long. Oh, no, that's right. We have we have mech bay quick. It's going to be expensive to replace all that armor. But it shouldn't be too bad as far as uh, getting it fixed. Yeah, so we've got LRMs. Might as well fly up there. On my way. Uh, left side is open on Dark Chaos. So make sure we get that side correct. Receiving you. Get, the, get Tor Vizsla back into the Badger. Get the badger back scooting with its damage side away from where the enemies are. The enemies are almost always going to drop up here, looking down at the site. But, uh, yeah, we could be we could be in a little bit of trouble. Um, it's such a shame that Helga is already out of SRMs. <sighs> yeah, we, we definitely need to see about finding an APC that can resupply, because yeah, that's we we are only two-thirds of the way through the mission and we've been out of SRMs for a bit, <laughs> a bit now. Alright. Convoy. Convoy. Come, come on. Come on, convoy. Alright. It's fine. Convoy just apparently can't go very far at all. It feels like it can't go as far as it was able to when I recorded the year first playthrough. So, like, 
I can't help but wonder if the patch that came through between my recording your first playthrough and this episode changed convoys to make them so much worse. <laughs> just, just so much worse. Um, combat shield back active and move and brace. Order acknowledged. Cool. Yeah, I have no idea where they're gonna drop, but uh, cover sounds good. Position. Heading out. And then, actually, gonna I'm gonna take the high ground way over here, just like hopefully have a little bit of room to work with. I'll Two, just wait here. three, as as four, and then. Do I feel confident taking out the last, the last lance, or would I rather get them all evac and run? I think. You know, what? I think I think I'm going to stick around and fight. I'm just gonna keep the convoy also around to fight. So, oh, UAV launch. What does UAV launch do? Let's find out. Uh, distance from convoy route? Okay, there we go. Ah, right, because we can't fire any weapons. Good work, Commander. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> um. Uh-oh. Move order they dropped exactly behind me. That's not great. That is not great at all. All right, cool. On it. Well, sure. Got it. Here goes. Uh, yeah, here goes. Battle armor, battle armor, battle armor, battle armor. Uh, convoy. You know what? We can actually uh, distance from the convoy. Distance from the convoy. Are we ever going to be able to actually get close enough? And yes, this is a reposition round, so I don't mind taking a minute to uh, adjust to the drop being completely different. Distance from convoy route, distance from other convoy. Okay. Got it. All right, time for the madness to begin again. Receive. My turn. Fashi, can I shoot anyone? I can. I can actually shoot the Phoenix in the back with Gauss rifles. So. Also, stray shots are a thing. Cool. Talk to me. Punisher, also shooting the Phoenix in the back. Good yes. Turn. Yeah, Commander. Helga, also shooting the Phoenix in the back. On your tail. With machine guns. Waiting for orders. Tor Vizsla is not going to be able to reach, so... Ready for orders. Alright, reserving that. Yes, Commander. Valkyrie! Uh... I think I actually... Move and brace. Order acknowledged. And then try to get a better angle next round. Here we go, Badger Prime, coming in. No shooting, just running. Damage side away from enemies. Uh, Calliope. Firing a full salvo. Ha, <laughs> stray shot on our escort target, whoops. It's fine. Enemy turn, okay. So here comes the Calliope doing. About as bad of a job as we did. Wait, did he hit his own person, or I don't know. So this is the one shot we have with the bandit LRMs. We might as well go in on the rear. You know what? I don't have time to do this. Yes, commander. So I'm gonna reserve that. Okay. The Olsven APC. Can we actually get an angle? Yes, we can. Shoot all the things. Alright, engine primitive crit. That's nice. 
Raj, I think, actually hit. So it's going to go with him. Which could actually be a very bad thing, depending on where he decides to go. <laughs> Alright, Dark Chaos. Maxim APC. We're going to try to finish off the Phoenix without getting in the blast radius of the arrow. And... No Not quite. Hey Alright, Torvisla. We have already moved, so this is the shot we've got. This is the shot we've got. So, Wolverine. Let's see how you like. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cool. Warning, guys. Armor low. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm hitting the convoy. I know. Nope. Come on. There. Nope. Come on. Come on. Whatever. All right. Hunchitas. Engaging target. Okay. Goblin. Oh, it didn't. Ah. There we go. Root. 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 Whatever. Stand and shoot. Hunchy, go. All right. Now the camera. I need to get back to somewhere sane before my turn again. Dealing with the convoy, not super conducive to uh, the timer. Careful! You don't want to All right, bandits. Last LRM shot that we have. We're gonna go right here. Yep. On it. Come on. Locking in all weapons. Alright. Yeah, the hover tank does take a minute to travel. I am out of LRM. Okay, Prowler. We do have the UAV launch option. We do have the UAV launch option. And we're gonna shoot the hunchy. It is in the wrong side. The all the weapons of the hunchback are gonna be on the right side. Also, I believe it's the pirate uh, that has the pirate Gauss rifle. Yup. That thing is super scary. It needs to go. Like, immediately. Alright. And to that end, we're absolutely going to focus it with... Uh, we're actually going to dismount, I think. And we're going to... Come on. Oh man. I, I can't... That's not good. I can't uh, reserve after I dismount. Got your back. That's what uh, that's what messed me up there. All right. Come on, come on, dismount. Oh, timer. Okay. Uh, yeah. Roger that. Getting the battle armor on the field, and we're going to shoot what we can when we can. Good to go. All right, Warbore. Warbore is going to also dismount, but this one we can swarm. So we're going to jump and shoot. Okay. I'm here. Commander is going to absolutely move. And. Do I just move and brace for the damage reduction? No, I I definitely rack the hunchy. Back strikes is definitely going to be the easiest way for me to kill here. Actually, if I dismount from here, I'm not going to be able to get in in any reasonable period of time. So we're going to shoot Calliope. Better hit chance. Oops. Haha. -ha. Straight shot my own battle armor. Good times. All right, Goblin <laughs> is already basically open in the rear. Cool. Goblin, we are going to absolutely shoot the Wolverine. All weapons committed. And we hit our own battle armor again. Stray shots, man. Stray shots are going to be the doom of this playthrough. The Burrow. Um, 
I think we just move Embrace, actually. I do not want to risk the pods going off on my battle armor. It does, like, massive extra damage to battle armor. So... Yeah, cool. Calliope, fine. Well, that's not good. I think our battle armor just outright died because the vehicle that was carrying it exploded. Okay, well, we're down a vehicle. That's fine. That's fine. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Um... The Maxim's Hovers is damaged. Acknowledged. Got it. Got it. Let's go. Let's go. Cool. All spin APC. Um, can we? Man, dealing with the convoy is trouble. All right. Other convoy unit. Um, yeah. Also, also just going all in on this. All right. So, um, we uh, we got problems. I have no idea what's gonna happen with the mech warrior or the pilot that were in those ve that were in that vehicle and the battle armor inside of it. But um. It blew up real good, so we definitely lost the vehicle. We definitely lost the vehicle, one way or the other. Pilot in the vehicle, not sure. But the vehicle definitely went down. I wonder if the battle armor is just like completely wrecked now. I do not know, I really do not know. Ow? Ow. Okay, that was really bad. All right, Bandit has no more, has no more anything. So all we can do is charge the Phoenix from behind. And boom, knock down, panic. There's like nothing left of the mech. Standing by. All right, Fashi, not gonna be able to uh, get behind. The hunchback. So there goes my entire plan of how to deal with them. Maybe swarm? Maybe? Receiving you. Helga. Roger. Yeah, once more, we don't have much. We don't have much to work with here. Fenrir. We're just gonna move and shoot the Calliope in the back. It's a thing we can do. Follow my lead. It helps. Take that as a lesson. All right. Yes, commander. Commander is able to melee the Calliope. You know what? Fine. Fine. We'll melee the Calliope from the side. Move order. Whatever. Huh. Smash. It's go time. Daka daka daka. Good. A critical hit. Mech warriors, cool. show them what you got! Alright, so we have the Calliope and the Phoenix on the ground, but the scary, scary Hunchback is still quite capable of shooting. Oh, there's also a Wolverine I completely forgot about. Okay. Burrow. Um, yeah, sure. Let's see what the A and B pod do. Uh, or the A and M pod. Not much. Okay. Alsvin. Um. Yeah, let's uh. Let's get in the back of the Wolverine. Targeting rear armor. Okay. Hunchback. Ow. Ow. Stray shot. Cool. The bastards took one of my guns. Okay. Um. This this is fine. Every everything everything is completely fine. Quite wonderful, really. Love it. Uh, absolutely, absolutely love it. 
Okay, XL crit on the Wolverine. Alright, here's our Maxim that cannot really move. Great. Love it. Um We're gonna we're gonna shoot the Phoenix. Yeah. Fine. Kill. Alright. Alright. It's fine. It's fine. Receiving you. Okay. Bandits. Right, Bandit has <laughs> Bandit has no weapons. Um what do you what do you wait, what? What do you mean? Minimum distance Okay. Okay. Fine. Whatever. I I I'm gonna because that was weird, I'm just gonna move. Um yeah, that was really weird. It I guess I could have rammed him if I just went straight at him, but because I was trying to go around him, minimum distance or whatever. Okay. Prowler. Uh, yeah. We're gonna shoot the Calliope. And hit our commander in the back. Lovely. That could have been worse. Calliope, standing up. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um Oh, there's a Fenrir. We we cannot mount with the Fenrir. We can only move and shoot. On my way. Double time. Uh Calliope, please die. You got my attention. Okay, Fenrir. Again, we can only move and shoot. So Wolverine, please die. Watched your position for house around. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Battle neck down. All right. War boar. Can we? Can we please? No. We we cannot. Firing jump jet. I probably could have waited and. Uh... Ah, that's fine. Taking the shot. Oh, you're in trouble now. Okay, I have down destroyed so much of my own stuff I'm just here. with friendly fire. Just friendly fire. Like, not even joking. Just friendly fire. Daka, daka, daka. Honestly hoping for a head hit or something. Okay, goblin, LRMs. Also going for just a head hit or something. Alright, burrow. You know what? Let's see what the A-Pod does. Oh, 0.9%. Right. Because it's only good against battle armor. <sighs> okay. It's fine. Calliope. Boom. Beautiful. Okay. Prowler. Prowler. Sure. Sure. Whatever. He's open. Alright. Maxim. Once more, that hover crit is devastating. Our Maxim cannot move. And then here, we can just go for the ram. Because why wouldn't we? Location confirmed. We have literally nothing else we can do. Targeting for physical attack. Okay. Knockdown. Panic. Ooh. Unfortunately, we can't take parts because um, medium mech. So, yeah. Order. Okay. Finally. Finally. Fall in behind me. There's no way this Confirm. kills, right? I'll break him in two. All right. That was a crit. It kills. I don't even get to try to swarm. Mission successful. Okay. The good news. We made 750,000 C bills. That's good. That is good. The bad news. 
Our hatchet man got shredded. There is not a bit of armor left on that thing. I mean, there is. It, it still has a third of its armor, but like... We got so close to losing our five-ton hatchet. That was that was scary. Um, our LRM5 bandit ran out of ammo really fast, actually. Um, that's problematic. Our Maxim APC got crit, but did not get destroyed. So we get to keep it. However, our Badger Prime exploded. It is gone. Zed apparently did not die though. Now the question, here's, here's the answer. Tor Vizsla, in the battle armor that got completely destroyed is only injured for 12 days. So the Fenrir can be rebuilt, but we are going to need new weapons. Likewise, we lost two small lasers and two machine guns off of this Fenrir, so we're gonna need replacements. Uh, the Fashi is completely fine, and the SRM-4 machine gun fender is fine. But again, the SRM-4s ran out of ammo so fast. Seven shots. Each one only has seven shots. We're going to have to keep that in mind in the future. So arguably our second best uh, battle armor weapons, completely gone. Then again, actually, I think, I think the Gauss is better than the medium lasers, the ER mediums. But it's definitely better than the small lasers and machine guns we didn't lose, so. Cool, um, parts. Parts. Um, battle fists, that's interesting in case, especially uh, in case we lose our hatchet man at some point, being able to put battle fists on both hands. It's pretty massive. I. I I think I legitimately am going to take one, like, not even joking. Gyro Defense Double Plus. Without question, that is an immediate pickup. I don't even have to look at anything else. Stealth? Stealth. Hmm. Stealth? Stealth Hatchet Man. I like the idea. I very much like the idea. Um, piloting B also like the idea. Okay, so somebody somebody was obviously running. Man, do I actually go jumps? Triple triple improved standard as a single pickup. I I don't think I'm gonna take the single, but I might take the triple because jumping and bracing is a viable option. Also, gut support would be interesting. Fire control, blood support. I mean... If we make our hatchet man really, really good and then lose it, at least we get to keep all the stuff we put in it and make the next mech an amazing melee mech. I really should have taken a moment to look in... To look in the uh, hatchet man before we before we dropped on a mission to see exactly what all we need to make it better. So this is a specialist slot item that requires two carry capacity. Can that be added to battle armor? Probably not. My guess is no, but I'm still going to take it and try. Night vision is also interesting to put on the battle armor if possible, but I think I'm going to do that because first of all, if it works on the battle armor, cool, I can give one of my battle armor ECM. If it doesn't work on the battle armor, it's still a free ton on whatever light mech I drop or on the hatchet man, maybe. If I have two tons of carry capacity left, I don't think I do. Oh man, we did lose one of our tanks though. Throw armor crit immunity is awesome too. Twenty percent resistance to ballistic and missile attacks. That just okay. Stealth armor makes our hatchet man harder to hit. 
Reactive plating just makes it take less damage. Unless it's already running Pharaoh and I just don't remember that. And if it is running Pharaoh, would I rather, well, Honestly, I could take both. I could take the reactive plated plating and the stealth if I dropped the ECM. I'm not going to drop the gyro. 100% not going to drop the gyro. That is going on somebody. Fire control, blood sport. I would definitely rather have the piloting be than the fire control, blood sport. Man, there's so much good stuff here. There is so much good stuff. Like, there's also the C3 Master Slave bit, like combo just on the first, like, major drop. C3 Master Slave just there, available, free for me to take. There is, again, argument to be made for me taking an another Battle Fist. Um, also, since it was obvious that when I can't hatch it, I don't have as much power. So this would let me punch and hatch it. So, there's just so much good stuff here. I, it's really hard for me to just pick something. Uh, Silver Bullet Gauss. No minimum range. But it also has a misfire chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, Pulse Laser Magnets are also interesting, but I don't know what hard points I have that are not covered by the Combat Shield. I can't, so, just, just so that we're clear, I can't take the VTOL because I'm pretty sure it's not a troop transport. I can't take the medium mech parts because I haven't built and dropped enough light mechs yet. I mean, I guess I could take the vehicle parts, and if they can't drop, or if they can't carry battle armor, I just scrap them. And then, obviously, the heavy mech parts I definitely can't take. Um, the Allsven APC... I mean, it's called an APC, so you'd think that it would be able to carry battle armor, but it's also medium. 50 tons. So, yeah. No sense looking at any of the parts for this mission. This is all completely just a, what stuff can I get? Uh, Artemis attachment, cool if I had the ammo for it. Like, there's a lot of good stuff here. There's, there's a lot to like from what I'm seeing here. I feel like stealth is going to be better Because with stealth, I can potentially not get hit at longer ranges. And if I'm close up, then I'm able to start meleeing people. So I think that is the final answer. We get random blackjack part, random centurion part, random phoenix part, random part of the VTOL. Heavy PBC plus capacitor. Wow. I mean, for a 30 ton VTOL, that's insane. 355 armor, 711 with heavy PPC with capacitor. Crazy. Uh, pirate ER medium. Bonus to charge attack damage, reduced charge attack self damage. Interesting. Medium rifle, fine. Uh, we did get the silver bullet gauss. It's just, if, if that is a crit chance, like, if that is a misfire chance just from firing period, it's not something I'll be able to use any time in the near future. But if it's not, that could actually be very interesting to fire into people's backs after hitting them with a hatchet. Active probe, cool. Love it, actually. I just absolutely love it. We got one of the battle fists. Adore that. Some engine cores. Um, I do not think dropping a 40 core is viable. Unless we literally only care about dropping the mech until it explodes. Like a, a turret mech 
when I'm just going to be scrapping any mech that goes down, a turret mech is a very inadvisable unless just desperation play. 230 core, love it. Uh, we only got one of the four jump jet improved, but I'll take it. If I get enough jump jet improved to actually make a jumpy mech, I'm definitely going to... That's a high priority, honestly. Just the ability to jump and then brace is... If I'm running out of time trying to make quick decisions, that is a great defensive move. Actually, maybe even on the hatchet, man. In case I can't melee. Just jump super far and then brace with the combat shield active. Can you jump with the combat shield active? I don't know. I'll have to look at that. But yeah, stealth armor, the piloting. We did not, unfortunately, get the damage reduction armor. Would have loved it, but it's fine. And then we got some medium rifle ammo, so we can actually run the medium rifle if we so chose. Heavy machine gun and LK... LKS... Two bins of LK SRM ammo. Cool. We don't have an SRM yet, but once we do, we'll be happy to have it. All right. Okay. This is exactly what I was talking about. 561,000 C-bills. And our hatchetman's out for 11 days. Oh boy. Um, we also only have mech bay one. <laughs> So, first things first, Vehicle Bay, Badger, you served us well. Goodbye. Okay. So, we have our LRM-5 Bandit that runs out of ammo, and our Maxim APC that we almost lost. Luckily, the Maxim can carry all four battle armor as long as we load it up in the proper order. Our Fashi, completely fine. Completely unfazed, unharmed, undamaged. But we did not get a chance to swarm. That would have been really fun. Uh, as far as the specialist slot thing goes... Nope. So, it has to be a squad specialist item. Okay. So, battle armor specific specialist item. Got it. Cool. Um, we're gonna actually... Leave the fin rear with the SRMs. Uh, this one we're going to stop work. And this one we're going to stop work. 324,000 C bills. That, that is 324,000 C bills. 320,000 to just repair it. Ouch. To say the least, ouch. Um,. So I think we actually hold off on that. This one. We lost two battle armor squads out of the four. 80,000 sea bills for every single one we lose. Ouch. And I'm just going to assume that we can't drop it unless we do that. Like... There's no way we can just armor up the two that are left, right? Like this, there's no way this is a thing, right? And then we drop, we can't drop because it's got the red exclamation mark. Yeah. Yeah, so we have to pay 163000 And I assume if we drop it like this, instead of it being two battle armors, it's just going to be four that have literally somebody breathes on him and it costs us 80,000 sea bills to fix. Like, honestly, I, I think I'm going to take a little bit of time between episodes and just kind of see how battle armor works. As far as, like, what happens with different stuff. Um, but yeah, that's that's 80,000 C-Bills per battle armor to replace. Ouch. Ouch. Um, also, I'm pretty sure we lost both of these to Friendly Fire. I'm pretty sure that's what happened to literally both of those. This one we lost when the vehicle it was riding in exploded. 
So that was a 320,000 Sea Bill vehicle explosion. Plus the battle armor weapons that we lost. Speaking of, are there any weapons for battle armor in the store? Because we're going to be going through a lot of those. No. No, this is a very limited store. Oh boy. Uh, can this, can this helicopter carry battle armor? No? No? Not at all? No. Okay. Can't buy the medium or heavy vehicles. Oh, this, this particular Drillson can't even carry battle armor, so... Alright. So yeah, none of these vehicles... Oh, nope, zero, zero battle armor. Yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> Alright then, um... Uh, yeah, if, if we get a chance to buy some light mechs, I'm going to do it. I'm actually 100% going to buy some light mechs if I get the chance. But yeah, oh boy, we we, we have 2.1 million Seville, 2.2 million. So like we can afford to, to repair them. It's just a matter of like, we only have one mech bay. We only have one mech bay. So, yeah. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to do some research and experimentation between episodes. And then this is where we'll come back tomorrow. For now, that's been your episode of Rogue Tech for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, have a good one.